Hello everyone, I'm Trustic44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Queen's Wish, The Conqueror! Last episode, we went and finally dealt with the Ganel clan up in the Ganel estate. Very easily, everything is dealt with there. There is still one thing I want to do. I want to deal with the Lair of Gorsh and do some exploration around here. So, I think maybe we can do that right now. And a Haven report. We're full up on almost everything. So, okay, let me sell this stuff. Need to sell everything but iron, stone, wood. Iron and stone. Okay. That's been done. Now, as I was saying, head up here, and we'll do some exploration to the south, where we can hopefully find and deal with this dragon. At the very least, we'll be looking around in there. I'm curious. Beware, dragon territory. There are several Ukatish guards packing up camp here. They were guarding the path to the south. Now they are leaving, quickly. When they see you, they huddle and whisper to each other for a minute. Finally, the head runner approaches. Stop! I have to warn you. Why? What is ahead? You are almost to Gorsh's Valley. He is a dragon. A true dragon. He has a temper and many pets. It is not safe. Stay away. You have a dragon living here? It is the Ukatish way. We are dirty. We always get sick. Also, there's a dragon. Tell me about this dragon. Yes. Half for centuries. Our kings and queens give it meat and sometimes trade with it far above our head. We kept people from going to it. You're the last ones we're warning. Now we have to go. Why are you leaving? They look at each other, not sure how to respond. Finally, the head runner says, Just official business. Havenites are not scared of mere beasts. Of course. Good luck with that. Gorsh is usually happy with the offerings we give it. Its pets are much nastier. They finish packing and depart. Okay, then. Well, I'm going to look around. Well, we found his pets. I want to take a look around and see if there's anything else around here. Like in this direction. Yep, that is another entrance. No, that is not another entrance. There's only the one. And after that, it's just, well, this area here. This part of the swamp. There's a family sitting around the fire in front of this farmhouse. Even though this is a wealthier area, they still show the signs of the hard life of the Yucatish. Thin, dirty, persistent coughs, exhaustion. When you get close, however, they leap to their feet as if they are full of energy and everything is great. The mother of the family hurriedly whispers something to all of them. They all run inside the house. Knock on the door. The matriarch opens the door. The family is sitting around a low, smoky fire inside, hurriedly preparing tea and a simple meal. She gives you a clumsy curtsy. We heard the Havenite was near. We never thought you would honor our poor, dirty farm. A child coughs. Please, come in and enjoy a meal. I will join you. They rapidly make room around their fire. They serve you tea, bread, meat, and pickles. It's edible, but the bread has grit in it. Your mother would never tolerate such fare in the palace, but you're getting used to it. As you eat, the family watches you silently. It is really awkward. Finally, when you are done, the matriarch says, We are poor, and our food is unworthy. Still, we are honored by your visit. I was honored by your hospitality. She frowns. There is no need to lie to us. We prefer honesty. We Ukatish know what we are. Please, be safe on the road. You give some final thanks and depart. The Yucatish family stares out at you through the windows as you walk away. You have a nasty suspicion that tales about this visit will spread through the nearby farms soon, and they will end with un ugly comments about how arrogant and unpleasant Havenites are. I tried to be polite. You saw that. Anyway, let's go deal with this dragon. We may as well. You are close to the lair of the dragon. The land here is dead and littered with bones. They came mostly from offerings of livestock, but not all. 
There are massive overfed reptiles wandering lazily through this rocky field. They haven't had to hunt properly for a long time. To the north in the cliff face, you see a massive pair of steel doors. That must be where the dragon lives. You get close to a clump of the fat, lazy lizards. Unfortunately, when prey gets close, they are far faster than they look. Okay, massive boar lizards, ice... Iguana kings, and an ice drake. I definitely think we're going to have to work on killing these a bit. Of course it evaded. WHY WOULD IT NOT EVADE?! Okay, the Iguana King actually seems a bit weaker than I thought. STOP SUMMONING! That was effective. Ow! Freaking summoning... Oh wow, that was a lot of damage. Seriously, I want you to stop with the summoning! The fact that they can always go twice is really irritating. I mean, really irritating. You are also going to do that. Beautiful. Of course you evaded. STOP SUMMONING! Patricia is in a lot of trouble here. Just finish it. Confused silence. Damn evasion! Please, someone go. God damn it, that's not what I wanted! Son of a. Well, I'm getting really pissed off right now. Why do you keep fucking summoning? Kill this thing! <laughs> Bludgeon that thing senseless. Of course it resisted everything. Why wouldn't it? Rupert's about to die, isn't he? God damn it! At least that's dead. I should have used a stunning shot. There, the serpent is dead. Now I need to kill this freaking ice drake. God damn it. I'm not going to be able to, am I? Of course it resisted the stun. And now Patricia's about to die, isn't she? Try again. Okay, now it's stunned. Shock it. There! The lizard's dead, you search their nest. You find a scattering of Ukatish offerings going back decades or centuries. Most of it is trash, but you do find some gold coins and a flask of quicksilver. There, Lair of Gorge is found. 
Please go into town so that you can actually get some healing. Thank you. Holy crap. This place is gonna suck. Let's try clearing out this other bunch. <sighs> Rock drapes and emerald salamanders. Always with the fucking haste! Three serpents. Three of them. That was useful. That one died at least. Of course it evaded. I am hating these summons! So very much. Blind. Of course he's blind. That one's probably just going to be re-summoned again. I would be surprised if it wasn't. Uh, fireball. Throw it. Oh, that Iguana King's almost done. There, that's two of the summoners dealt with. And yet we still have more coming in. Am I not surprised? So much for no right, because you're blind! And Rupert is very damaged. And feared. <sighs> Throw a healing on her, she needs it. Ow! Storing rain. That helps. Rupert is gonna need to do his big cure. Oh god damn it. There, that helps. But I'm pretty sure Patricia is about dead. Of course you couldn't fucking reach. Haven's mercy, please. That helps a lot. At least we have only one summoner left to deal with. You know what, throw poison rain on there. That one might actually die from the poison for all I know. Hey, goody!
kill that one? Excellent. Okay. Now we can do this. Please just finish these off. It's taking up all our energy just to kill this. There we go, one more rock drake. Definitely give a healing to Rupert, I don't want him to die. Blind again, of course. Course evasion. It's because everyone's so frickin' blind now. There we go. So the lizard's dead, you search their nest. You find a scattering of Ukatish offerings going back decades or centuries. Most of it is trash, but you do find a cache of metal bars. Some are silver and some iron. Huzzah! Let's go back and heal up again. Haven report, we are full up on resources, and we have a ton of gold. We are in such incredible shape right now. You know what, truth be told, I don't need an apothecary, though. I need another fort so that I can get a smithy and a weaving room. You know what, now that I think about it, Fort Haven. Oh, hold on, I need to actually leave it. Go to Fort Haven. We have an extra building up here that we can put something in. So what the hell, I'm gonna put another weaving room in here so that we have more space for our, in our backpacks. We can afford it, we can afford the upkeep, we may as well. There is already a store of this type active in this town. You don't need to place another. Another. Really now? So we're limited in that. We can only have one store of each type in a town. Well, at least now we know. Buy an apothecary so that we have it. From what I hear, as long as you buy something, you don't need to worry about upkeep. So, I guess, buy one of each so that we have them. There! Now we can actually get resources. So, that's fine. I thought we'd be able to, like, put repeats in some of these places, but I guess that's not the case. Okay, go to Greatport. going to sell... what are we going to sell? Sell the Quicksilver. There, that's fine. Sold five Quicksilver. We got so much, we're fine. <sighs> and while I could continue on going into the lair of Gorsht... Gorsh, whatever... I think I'm going to end this episode here and go in there in the next episode. Those two fights took forever. Next episode, we'll deal with the dragon. This episode will be a bit short. It's fine. That'll be in the next episode. So until then, I'm Chester44. That is Rupert, Elspeth, Terrence, and Patricia. This has been a Let's Play of Queen's Wish, The Conqueror. And I shall see you all next time.